Alright. Time for a Warwick game. My team seems to be invading. Okay. Um, Warwick in the preseason got massive buffs, really. Like the uh, added pet system and all that. Very good for the clear speed that he didn't have before. So now he can actually clear his jungle to a effective degree, which is something I'm quite happy to see, honestly. So that is very good there. Um... And apart from that, I'll be uh, against the Lilia here, which should be fine matchup-wise. She can kite me pretty effectively, which is a little scary, but... Ooh, my bot lane just ended. I think. Uh, are they gonna survive? They actually both live. Okay. I'll take the Q here. Normally starting W is like a thing here, but... I prefer if there's a fight gonna go on. If I'm gonna get invaded on this, I prefer to have Q. So I'm taking Q instead right now. Otherwise, W is great to start with because as soon as the camp gets low, especially with a leash, then your W is gonna make sure it goes much faster. It's overall better clear speed. But in this situation, I had like a situation where I could risk a 1v1 or like getting invaded even. I could. Uh, there was a risk b behind that, so I didn't really want to... Uh, not have Q for a fight if it comes down to it, because that would definitely be better for a fight. I'll just I'm just gonna clear my camps. Lily has also a bot side. I mean, realistically this guy presses recall the second this wave is gone, so I wouldn't be able to get a good gank off anyway. It's gonna take too long for Miss Fortune to get back and it'll be a 3v2 because Lily has on Krugs. So I would not be in a good spot there to uh well, do anything really. So for me, just clearing the rest of this is going to be the move. He didn't press recall. Okay. Oh, that is whatever. Need to auto attack these small ones a little bit because otherwise the damage is not going to end up being good for the uh, finish of this. Like your AOE is much better, but it's still a little bit, a little bit meh for now, if you know what I mean. But it's at least, like, not terrible to do the camp, which is great. I'm gonna kill this quickly. I might be able to, may be able to run top here. I also kind of, oh, yep, nah, I'm, I think I'm definitely gonna run top here. Also, another thing, 65% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. That, that just, that just sucks really he should have prevented that back if he could have prevented that back that would have been easy kill i could never have got there in time i pinged it several times for him to hopefully prevent that but he didn't okay i'll just go take double scuttle instead of taking my krugs right now xp wise this isn't the most ideal but i tried to go for that jack skank now i'll just take a little bit of gold instead just turning around there for the uh, Krugs is kind of meh. Might as well get this here, honestly. A level up from this. I'm gonna make W first as Jungle Warwick. It allows for more rotation capabilities. This could not be warded. Potentially, it is not warded. That's great. Make sure it doesn't miss. I don't know what this Blitzcrank just did. I don't know why he doesn't just walk up here or something or like... Uh... This is a crazy move from Varus. He literally just gave me the chance to kill them both. Okay. Yeah, take the jump. Oh, Ignite, right. Well, the Katarina rotation definitely helped him a lot there, but okay, interesting. Eh, I'll be fine doing this, I think. Warwick has plenty of sustain. Averis just kind of ran into die. If the Katarina didn't, like, respawn that quickly, that Yumi would have been dead as well. Or if I had any type of items in that situation, I suppose, but... Yeah. That's okay. That Blitzcrank's, like, play there was a little bit strange, because he could have probably thrown the hook when Averis, like, slightly walked up initially and hit it, I think. But... Whatever. Third aggro there. Good save from Katarina, though, I will say. Very clean save on her end. Good recall. We get the Tiamat. We get normal boots here. That's beautiful. And then we can charge at top lane, hopefully, with that with that uh, W. That'd be quite good. 
He's gonna get me out of base quicker. He's recalling right here. Probably takes the recall, which would be terrible, by the way. Because if he takes this recall, Seth just freezes his wave. Yeah, he took the recall. So he actually hurt himself a lot. I can 100% confirm that Top just recalled. I'm just gonna type that to my set because he doesn't really know that information guaranteed. And I know this guaranteed because of my... Uh, Because of my passive, my W passive. Finish this guy off, honestly. The Lily, I wasn't really gonna be a catch on that one. What did I do? This guy is free. He's gonna, he's staying. He is literally, I'm, I'm just gonna run at him. Warwick things. I mean, I could get collapsed on by Jax here. I have to keep that in mind. That's just painfully freezing the wave. Yep, okay, he is here. I don't know if I could have survived that. Because I was wondering whether he would come from this side or this side. And I think I should have just taken a plant over, obviously, hindsight. But, uh, yeah. Take an extra attack speed dagger, why not? Something I have the money for in that situation. Yeah, I, I was thinking how I could avoid the Jax, because I wasn't sure what's, which way he was going to come from, like here, here, or there. And I just guessed one, and it didn't work out. But, I mean, I don't really mind too much, honestly. Jax is losing literally everything on top lane anyway. The one kill he just got on me doesn't really make a difference there, I don't think. Oh, God. I need to hit level 6. I'm doing this camp before I rotate down, because I need to hit 6. What? I feel cheated. <laughs> that is disgusting. Dude. Really? 100% to 6, right? I believe 100% means I should be 6, right? God damn it. Am I both definitely in trouble right now? Where is their bot lane at? Yeah, they are back. I do want to go bot lane. Dude, I literally just pinged that I was going to show up and then... Oh my god, I need to mute these people. This is ridiculous. I pinged that I was going to show up and then they still spam ping me. That's crazy. Push the wave then. Go for a hoop. Take an engage. They're going to make me waste my time here, aren't they? They're going to... Like, what are you doing? Just hit the wave then. This is crazy. Like, they're not allowing me any ins. This is, this is actually insane. So they spam ping me and then they proceed to just waste my time. You are joking me, right? Okay, W here. Build here. Clear right away. Jesus, man. That took ages. Holy moly. All right, since Lily has top, I go dragon here. I don't know what that... I don't... That, uh, I guess I could run top lane, technically. He's there. I guess I could have made it, but I think Dragonus makes more sense right now. With W, I could have ran all the way up there extremely quickly and tried to make a play happen. But I think the Dragon makes more sense. So I will take the Dragon instead. Perfect. More points in W. I don't think. I don't think I go mid here. I mean, I could try it technically, walking around this way, maybe. Okay. Or Katarina just does that. That works for me. Uh, do I check? I check her top side here, right? Surely. Yeah, I kind of figured. This is a little risky, based on my LeBlanc being 10 HP and the set, uh, the set not being around. If Lilia shows up right now, I could be in trouble due to no ult and stuff, but I think I'm okay. I could be doing Rift Herald, potentially. I don't think I'm gonna go Gromp, that's too greedy. I'm gonna ping the guy that I'm going in. What is he doing? Okay. 
Well, I guess I locked them long enough at least. I don't know that. Uh, I was hoping Seth would just press E or something. He activated his dodge right before I ulted. I was trying to like kind of mind game him a little bit, hopefully. I was kind of hoping Seth would do something more, but that wasn't going to happen. Uh, Jax is just annoying for Warwick, really, because that dodge is just going to ruin you. Okay. I am straight up dead here. Fair invade. I respect it. That's all I can say. It's just a fair play. Fair invade. Uh, I don't think I do that. Um... And I guess there are two ways of doing this. As a team, I feel like this is the bad the, the bad way of doing this. I should go Titanic. The reason I say this is the bad way of doing it is because it leaves me very squishy and these people have a lot of ways to kite me. Uh, so the extra HP and tankiness makes more sense here. Like they have a lot of CC, a lot of ways to like kite me, uh, like put me on distance, all that type of stuff, you know. So the like the, the the ravenous is very very risky. I mean, if you want to trade like this, sure. Be my guest. Oh, if I go in on that, I could have maybe gone in on that actually. Oh, I can't ping anymore. Dude, where are you going? Oh my god, LeBlanc! Team! Come! What the... What is this? Oh my god, are you joking me with this? Dude! What am I looking at, team? What the hell is going on, man? Jesus, oh. how many pings do these people need? That is crazy. Dude, what the... F okay, well, I suppose I, we won that in the end, I guess. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, I don't even I don't even have words for that one anymore. Like, how, why? Where was Seth going? Why was Le my LeBlanc not following? So many questions, man. Jesus Christ. Right, it worked out. Damage reduction from the Warwick E and stuff is really nice. But my god. That was illegal, honestly. Crazy. Herald here. I think I should just go use this on top lane. Honestly, just get the turret down. This first turret here would be quite nice. I'm gonna put this in here. Get the first turret down and I'll, it'll be good. Absolutely. Titanic here. And I'll go for the... This one. You can go for the other Hydra. By the way, like it is fine to go for the other Hydra on the Warwick on the like on Warwick specifically though, especially the other Hydra is getting an, another nerf on top of it. But on Warwick specifically, this Hydra, because he already has so much innate sustain, is just really good. And if you're gonna get kited with the other Hydra, you're gonna be so unbelievably squishy that you're just gonna be dead. So if I get CC locked and kited, I don't think that Hydra is gonna be very effective or good at all. But I'm not doing it. You can pick between whatever you feel like it. Like, if you are facing, like, champions that don't really kite you too well, then you can get the hits off and you can get the sustain going from the other Hydra instead of having the additional HP. Bark has good built-in sustain anyway, though, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I guess it also depends on how you're going to build Warwick, because if you're going to build him extremely tanky, then Titanic obviously does work. And I definitely am going to build him more on the tanky side here. Come on, LeBlanc. Alright, good. 
Oh god. Probably should have queued that guy, eh? I don't. I should have queued the Yumi once. Oh, I should have queued that guy. One, one Q would have killed Yumi and that would have killed Katarina. Damn. Good rotation from Katarina, I will say. Very, very fair play. Sucks for me, though. If the Yumi died, the Katarina never would have been able to do that. Ravenous. All right. Hmm. Zero Dive wasn't particularly good. I am level 9. That's unreal. That is so badly behind in experience. Jesus. Compared to level 11 and level 12. Like, holy moly. I mean, granted, my farming hasn't been, like, amazing or anything, but 9 is real bad. Need to pick that up a bit. Oh, Katarina again. Katarina is putting in the damn work. Like, she is absolutely carrying the enemy team on her back. At least the set was able to make an, like, a decent trade on top side. Quite good. I think this guy should just go and put it all in. Okay, well, I should just use it. It's... What? The hell was that? LeBlanc, you literally missed everything. <laughs> Alright. I like how the ability that gets pinged in that situation is my ultimate. I think she had like five different ways of killing the Lilia in that specific situation, and she probably played it in the only way she doesn't kill Lilia there. Interesting. Oh, my most Stomper, that's kind of nice. Oh, God. Yeah, Katarina in combination with Yumi. This is going to be a spicy one. You know what you've done. Do I go this way around? That's right. I'll just do this then. Fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's okay. Should be able to... Like, the Katarina shouldn't necessarily be a big threat for me later on. So I don't think I'm that worried. Really, Lilia? Interesting. Take the money. Take the level up. I guess I might as well push this. Because Katarina's top so I can get a turret. This turret is worth a lot of gold. I definitely want this turret. This is like a lot of gold that I can just get here. Definitely ignore Lilia because she doesn't matter. 600 gold right there, that's huge. Two kills. Okay, that's a TP from Jax. I'm leaving. No! That's gonna so Okay, good hook actually. The Yumi got, got the Yumi with that one. Nice, got the fear on the Yumi there. Beautiful. Oh, Blitz, what are you doing? Where, d did he not see? Okay. I, I, okay. Oh god. Oh god. I have a feeling this guy's gonna die. Uh, why? Like, did the Blitzcrank not see the uh, the Jacks on the side there or something? Interesting. I need to back, man. I have a lot of gold. This is not good. I have to go invest this. All right, let's get the blade here. What am I even looking at? That's just... That is the question I have to ask here. Holy moly. <laughs> I, I don't even get the chance to recall. Let's get this. Definitely want the jock show here. This is going to make me incredibly tanky. If they can't kill me quickly. This is actually... This is very good for me. You know, to look at it. She's going AD Katarina. I can, that will work in my favor, I think. I just lost all of that. Probably lose the dragon here, to be honest. I don't think I can really stop that one. 
I was hoping that would be a level up. Yeah. I don't have a team in this angle that I can play around to play with. What is happening? I am getting question mark pinged for that Blitzcrank play, right? Okay, cool then. That's a good kill. He was out of position. That's fine. She's not, if she's not going to go for it, I'll take that. We have a set. Please set. Just press ult. Kill this guy. I'm going to go for the Jax, actually. I'll clean this up. I didn't seem I didn't think my team was gonna lose this badly, I'm not gonna lie. That is okay. My bad, I guess. I should have not expected my team to do anything there. And just went for the Katarina instead of the Jax. I should be fine here. Yeah, I baited him baited him incorrectly. So all I really have to do there is bait him in and then use Warwick's damage reduction into a fear to CC lock him and then kill him quickly. And that situation, I maybe I, I really thought my team like would be able to do more against Katarina, but I guess I was wrong. So perhaps I should have just ignored the Jax and went for the Katarina straight away. I'll just do that next time. Make sure Katarina dies first or something. If she takes this because she is mad, that's just disgusting. Uh I, I literally feel like I'm 1v9. I've, I literally just... Oh my god. Le imagine LeBlanc trying to spite take a red buff away from you or something. Crazy. Okay, well, I have 4,000 gold. Dude, what is this toxicity? I didn't even realize he typed some things to me. Get the Jack Show here, and then we'll go for the Magic Resist next, I suppose. I'll get the... Spirit Visage going, and then I'll need an armor item. Probably a Thorn Mill, to be honest. That makes a lot of sense here. So I'm going to go Spirit Visage into Thorn Mill here. Going to give me a ton of HP, and this is also why the Titanic here is going to be quite good. You can't go Ravenous, but I don't think it would be necessarily beneficial for me. Uh, based on being able to get kited pretty easily, for the most part. Uh, that's nothing I can do, is there? Okay, this is uh, clearly warded. Just need you to hook, hook him, blitzcrank. God, he needed to throw the hook the exact second she was gonna jump, and the Katarina would have been dead. Is this warded? Really hope not. Oh boy. Why do I think this guy's dead? I... The fact that Katarina has a Yumi on top of her makes things way more annoying this game. They're actually going top, okay. Are you gonna help? Team? Misfortune had ult ready to go and everything. What is going on? I, I'm just mind blown. Like, I don't know what hell, what the hell is going on here. I'm literally confused. I was hoping to get that Q drag off there. I'm gonna chase this. Press the W. Flash over. I don't think I have to flash after this. I'll just do Baron. Can you not... Misfortune? Guys? Can we, like, team? <laughs> Can we, like, finish a Baron, please, instead of chasing a dude that doesn't matter? <laughs> dude, my mind is, right now is just like, what? What is even going on? This is coming up soon. Look, only Blitzcrank is helping me! What? I am, like... Wow. Got it, beautiful. I didn't hit that one, unfortunately. Oh, she's so fat. Just snare him. My guy, please. 
Oh, All right, unfortunately, Lilia is extremely fast, but I hope not, not that long of a cooldown. <laughs> he just don't know, man. I do not want to give this LeBlanc this blue in any type of way. Oh, sucks. He's not going to do anything with that. I already know it. I'm going to be too low on the mana here, I think. Hopefully, set helps. Can you, like... What is... Oh, we're going to give up a free dragon, eh? Yeah, that's how it goes, I see. Ah, rip me. Oh, my God. What do I even do here, man? At least I got that one out of the way. I don't know what to say. I just... Whatever. I'll go recall. At least I got the Baron earlier. That's kind of nice. Uh, okay, so Thorn Mill next. And then, yeah. Alright, let's go get this Ferris, I suppose. Pretty sure he's recalling somewhere here. There he is. I can run this guy down pretty comfortably. Let's go. Okay, maybe I should have tried to set that one to the side. I don't know if I should have just randomly, like, straight up ulted him. I probably should have. Uh, Blitz, Krang. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that donation there, Lilian. I'm just gonna have to let him die now. It, it needed to be Blitzcrank first. It had to be. I'll just kill this Katarina, whatever. Uh, just. I. Yes. Okay. I don't think Katarina ever has the damage to kill me. I'm gonna keep it real. I think for the most part I'll be fine, but I just needed a Blitzcrank to land the engage on Keta so we get the engage started instead of like them getting it started. Because them getting it started is worse for our misfortune. At least I got the healing reduction now, which is quite nice. Well, I can pick this up and I should be able to go kill, go kill that Jax, I hope. I have to respect this here, because I have literally no team. My, this, these two are in base, just chilling. Uh, there's not much I can do. I wonder if LeBlanc went AFK or not. Could be. Fear him, holy! I think I feared him out of his last auto attack. I think LeBlanc went AFK. I this game is insane. <laughs> I do not know what the hell is going on, but okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, she is here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just give me the level up here, man. Perfect level sixteen. Huge. All right, nice. Thank you for the donation. We Q. A Q to like one dodge is ill, and potentially if he flashes right away, then. I can use that as well to, like, chase him on the flesh. And he is running. Okay. I mean, I can now back for my Thorn Mill and it'll be unkillable. The only issue now is that I don't have ult for Katarina. Katarina has no way of removing my ultimate. That's very good to know. So the way we're going to land the ult on Katarina in the future is going to be... Uh, we fear her first. And then we ult. Oh, my team's gonna let me die. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. We should have both ran in the same direction here. Because with one misfortune E slow, we would have all gotten away. If I get engaged on by four people there, there's not much I can do. But it trade off there as well is like, sure, they kill me. There is no objective up, so I wasn't necessarily too worried about that, but we gain, like, bot turret here because Set was on that. And, yeah, it, it is not too bad. Take the uh, Elixir of Iron here, I think. I don't have to play a bit safer, I think. It's my LeBlanc's not playing the game anymore, and Set's just always split pushing as well. If we would have just do a 5v5 team fight. Like, Set presses ult on Katarina, and I just, like, fear ult her right after, they insta lose. 
but you know. Oh, that's a Yumi ult. Please just. Ult her right away. Can you please just kill him? Dude, what the hell is going on? Thank you. Holy moly. Let's chase this guy down if I can. Ah, uh, damn. I, out of, I, I went out of combat on that one. My Blitzcrank is just like really chilling, eh? I don't think this matters. Okay, this might matter. Okay, yeah, there's the dodge. Dude! I'm just 1v5. I literally... The Blitzcrank just doesn't help. I think he had plenty of HP to not be full-on recalling there. I got completely cut off, I guess. I should have... The second he didn't want to walk with me, I should have walked away. God, this is painful. Okay, I need to sell these, I think. At some point. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to win this game at the moment. Because my team is never playing with each other. Literally always by themselves. If they would just help me out one time, this would be free. Like, look, look just, just look at what's going on. This is solo queue to the absolute craziness. Perhaps I should, I'm probably going to sell my boots of force of nature. That is my question. I really wonder how hard that can be. Are they gonna die? This is gonna cost us Baron. Dude. Why? Like, literally why? Unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no type of wards or vision or anything. There's no blue trinket. There's nothing I can do, really. Very interesting. At least I got one of them there. It did, did put my ult on a cooldown though, so I don't know if I'm too happy about that one. Am I gonna, like, where is my team? Like, just look at them, man. What are you doing? Where is he going? What the fuck are you doing? There is no possible, like, look at them. The blitz went, oh my god. God. I survived for so long and Blitz just walks away full HP ult ready. If Blitz walks up to me right here, presses ult once, I don't die because of the silence. I just... How? <laughs> How do I fix that? Like, what do I do? My team is literally trying to lose. This is crazy to me. Wow. I mean, we ended up winning the fight because, well, they struggled a lot to kill me and Misfortune was able to get a return kill because they used all their cooldowns on me. But what is that movement? Like, they were both just ca like calmly chilling over here instead of like rotating this way or doing anything. I just... I just... Uh, God. Well, it is okay, I suppose. I am full build now, though, I guess. Don't take my blue buff. I'm gonna have to smite this, otherwise I'm never gonna get it. Yep. I'm not gonna give up blue buff. Like, it is a crucial amount of sustain to me, mana-wise, and then also cooldown HP-wise. Even as a Mura mana, so the blue doesn't matter for her. Because she has plenty of mana. I... I... 
Okay, I'm just gonna change my entire playstyle here and just wait for whatever the hell my team is gonna do and follow him, I guess. There's nothing else I can do. I can't make an engage, I can't make a proactive play because they do nothing. There's no way she goes on me. That would be suicide. Okay, well, I mean, you can go on me, I guess, if you want. And she actually recalled as well. I'll just... Okay, I can't build away. Dude. That's a lot of cooldowns used on me, I guess. Did I lose the dragon there? I guess I did. Hmm. Is that AFK? Looks like he might be. Yep. Top team. Very well done. <laughs> what is this? Why is he AFK? <sighs> Oh my god. And I guess I got caught there. Like, the Lilia just ran at me with no backup. LeBlanc actually took the recall instead of trying to help me ever. So, I guess I got caught. This game is so dumb. <laughs> I just. Can, like, how hard is it? Can, can we, for once, just group as a team? Please. It is literally that simple. I became a monster I always was. Literally one time where I just need to set the press ult on the Katarina and we just kill her first and we win the game. Instead of always split pushing and always just dying by themselves or just not helping me in the first place. You know what you've done. I don't know, man. KDA player. Dude, what? Can you just group? What are you doing my camps for? Just come fight. Oh my god. Look him. Don't miss. Thank you. Oh my god. Look, that was it. That's literally all that had to happen. That was it. Katarina's dead. We end the game now. Thanks. Holy moly. Absolute salvation. God damn. I mean, he died on top end, I guess, but that shouldn't matter here. With Katarina dead and Lilia not having ult, there's no way, right? Good kill. Thank you, I'll just tank turret for a bit. I don't really care that much. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. What the hell did I just witness, man? Anyway, maybe you guys have enjoyed my suffering through this one. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, so for the endgame stats here as well, I ended up doing 52.5k damage, which is definitely the most. A misfortune, I mean, she eventually ended up, like, doing damage and stuff, so that's quite good. After enough uh, setup plays and cleanup stuff, she got enough gold. So that's good there. True damage at 2700. Damage to objectives at 40k. Healing done at 22.8. Damage taken at 63.3. That's just colossal, of course. Self-mitigated at 128.8k there. Dude. <laughs> I have 130,000 self-mitigated damage in combination with this and damage taken as well. That is in combination with the most damage dealt, of course. That is crazy. 130k, my guy. Whew. Gold earned at 21.8 as well. And then for the runes, massive uptime on lethal tempo. Uh, Triumph, 1100 with a bit of gold. I'll stand for 1700. Conditioning, which then obviously works with the, the Jack Show stuff, so this is quite big. And then Revitalize is great on Warwick for bonus healing for a good amount. So, uh, yeah, that is it for Warwick, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.